we're driving we're driving through Sanger right here um, they call themselves the Christmas Tree City of America and you know I just read about this I think last night and you know my memory is about as good as a, a pile of runny oatmeal so uh, there's it, it it's marketing like any other town markets itself um, for those of us who grew up in San Leandro, it's the Cherry City. Well, it used to be cherry orchards, and that's why. So, and they used to, uh, and they used to have for a long time a, a cherry festival. Now, I grew up in Washington Manor, which was annexed into San Leandro, I think, in 1957. Now, my parents' house, the permits for my parents' house, still had the San Lorenzo address. Um, streets of my paper route had their uh, uh, street names changed. Um, anyway, um, um, I never felt like I lived in San Leandro. I didn't go to San Leandro School District Schools. We all went to San Lorenzo School District Schools. So, it, you know, it just, I didn't feel like uh, I grew up in, in San Lorenzo either. You know, the creek separated it. Um, I just felt like I grew up in Washington Manor. Anyway, we're, we're still driving through Sanger. Um, I've got Dave, Dave Cavill is the GM of the uh, A's, and he's, uh, He's been talking about um, opening the Coliseum and the, what they're doing about the 20% capacity. And and he uh, went on the spiel about uh, Howard Terminal, where they want to build up a, a ballpark. And I'm going to tell you, nobody has answered my point. I say... Well, you already aren't drawing well at a stadium that can be fairly inexpensive to go. I mean, they charge $30 to park, so obviously you take the BART or you do what we used to do, and that's park in the Coliseum BART station parking lot. Now, you risk your car being stolen, but hell, I got my car stolen from, from Billy Hebert Field, so... Um, you have direct freeway access. You have a dedicated BART station named Coliseum Station with a walking bridge from the station directly to the um, to the stadium site. And there's an Amtrak station right there. So, so all of these advantages you have but yet you're going to move into a stadium where the tickets are going to cost a lot more. The food is going to cost a lot more. Um, there's extremely limited parking anywhere near there. You don't, they haven't really, there's no direct freeway access, no direct barn access, and no direct Amtrak access. It's like, you know, if, if if you're selling it as you're going to draw, you know, 25000 and 40000 on the weekends, and they talked about the gondola. The gondola, they said, takes 6,000 people an hour. Do you really think that fans are going to stand and wait for the gondola? I can't think of where the gondola goes. But, um, you know, if there's 15,000 people waiting for the gondola, uh, you're going to stand out there for two and a half hours once, and you're never going to do it again. So, I think, I, I don't disagree that the Coliseum has outlived its time. But, I think they need to build a stadium on the Coliseum lot. And then, either tear down or remodel the existing Coliseum. Or, will they just mow it down for parking? Um, this whole Howard Terminal is 
I don't know what the fraud is behind it. I don't know what they're driving at. If they honest to God think that they're going to charge more money and make it harder to get to the ballpark, that somehow people who aren't really interested in A's baseball are going to suddenly think, yeah, gee, let's, let's spend more money and make it harder to go somewhere that I'm not really interested in in the first place. Then, you know, these people who own and run the A's are just not very smart. And, well, anyway, um, we're, we're heading to, uh, here's some more blossoms. We're heading to Fresno. Uh, 